oh boy, here we go again. Another large format Friday. Trudging through the snow. It's minus 10 Celsius. I, I guess this is what we're doing. <sighs> I'm your host, Matt Mirage. If, uh, if this is the first time you're stopping by the channel, I'm going to throw in a playlist with uh, all of our LFF episodes. All right, well, whatever. We're, we're already here, so Pickering, Pickerings and Ponds. This is a place for birds. Why did you even bring a large format camera here? This is for taking pictures of ducks and eagles and stuff. Well, whatever. The sun's streaking through. It's going to pass really quickly. By the time you get the camera set up and the lens attached and you go through the dance, you're, it's not going to happen, man. Just what are, you, what are you trying to do here? Weather forecast said it was going to be foggy. Not so foggy. It's, it's not foggy at all. Sun's not even up yet. And the fog that was supposed to be here is... Uh, it's already subsided. Are you, are you really trying to make this work? When did you not get the memo? It is 15 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's just head back to the car, go grab a latte on the way home, and, and call it a loss. It's no worries. Oh, okay. All right. So you've... All right. I guess we're... Yeah, let's... Okay. Wide lens, getting close to a tree. Oh, wow, real original. Oh, Mr. Big Shot got the fancy new Raveni Lab spot meter there. You know, there's already videos out there talking about it. Why are you even showing it? Come on, just let's just pack it in. Ooh, you even found your exposure, huh? All right, cool. Yeah, let's, sure, throw some, throw some $10 a sheet film at it. See if I care. You sure about that exposure? And you compensated for Bellows extension factor? You're going to trust uh -huh. this meter that you just uh -huh. got a few weeks ago? You're not going to correct the rear perspective? And this is a Come wide on. lens. Oh, you it's going to look like your center filter be amateur for the wide lens. You're still what shooting. What kind of chump okay. are you? You feel better now? All right, let's pack it in. Come on, let's go home. That's what I'm, Ugh, no. Yeah, look, you missed the light, just like I said you would. Well, don't just go set it back. Ugh, what are you doing? It's fine, really? yeah, let's just, yeah, We're see gonna what happens. Sure. You're gonna throw two throw sheets some, of film at this? Throw some expensive sheets 20 of bucks eight by 10 out the window. Okay, sure. we out in the field man it's not what the people want people want technical videos and film reviews yeah you should review a film you shot a thousand sheets of hp5 you certainly have an opinion on it right why well, it's it's not getting any warmer yet the sun is barely up can you even feel your left hand what are you okay so you're just gonna just gonna keep walking all right Another mile from the car, and you're still walking. Yeah, that tree does look pretty cool. That's definitely your M.O. See, but you didn't bring your long lens. You should just go home. We'll come back another day. Well, did you hear me? You didn't bring the right lens. So we're, you're just going to try and you're just going to shoot it with your standard. Great. Oh, so you two sheets wasn't enough we gotta go throw some more sheets away cool sure it's not like you didn't have some projects for this film or anything but you know no it's cool oh mr fancy getting out the grad filter system putting in all this effort you're not ansel adams you're not one of the greats why are you doing this should really go buy that new camera. Everybody's jumping on that new GFX. 100 megapixels. Sure, you could scan something better, but come on. You even work at a retail place. You can probably get a great deal on it. You wouldn't have to haul 70 pounds worth of stuff with you. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. Think wasting this money on the film and this trip is nope, going to make you better? Just cold. 
heavy. Uh, here we go again. And not Wasting the light we were more sheets for. of film. What about the snow in the foreground, Mr. Yep, Smarty still Pants? here. You're taking pictures. something up. You're not going to close the lens. I hope you loaded those sheets of film properly. You're going to do something wrong Just with because it hasn't meter. happened in a long time doesn't mean you didn't load the You're emulsion blow those side highlights. down. Oh, come on, man. Give it a rest. Let's go. Yes, thank you. Back to the car. All right. What would the black and white masters think? Oh, what would they think? Yeah, I don't know if a lot of the greats would translate well to, to digital. <laughs> you barely translate well to digital. You think Ansel Adams would be on Instagram? I bet he would. I bet he'd be really into digital. What about Weston? Nah, he seems more like a Tumblr guy. What? We're not going home? We're, we're gonna develop these right now? All right, sure. Go, you don't have your developer mixed up. What are you gonna do? You're gonna use something else that you haven't tested for? If you're not using the stuff that you've been using for years, you're not gonna get great results. Well, you're just gonna throw it in HC 110, just like, just like whatever. Okay, sure, yeah, throw it in, throw it in there. See what happens. You're probably not gonna retain those highlights. You're not used to that developer. Rotate the through the stack constantly. Clock's ticking, pal. Got six minutes. It's oxidizing every, right every now. Better, better count. Let's go. Better get those you unloaded. Think any of these are going to end up on your Flickr Hope page? Hope you don't screw up agitation. Like going to buy a print from this. There's a lot of things that roll around in my head when I'm out in the field. A lot of doubts. A lot of distracting thoughts. The best thing I can recommend, if you're feeling this way in any of your creative pursuits, keep going. And find that special thing that shuts that voice up. When you find that thing, make it your job to piss off the voice in your head. For me, that's my big large format camera. I know this has been a weird one today, but I had to get this out. There's way too much crazy good gear and attention being pulled in every which direction. And while it didn't seem like a, a lot of silence at all, those few brief moments that I get when I'm taking the picture and I see it come up in the tray, that's peace for me. And that's why I call this large format meditation. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, this isn't like a standard type video, but if you like this, go ahead and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, each and every Friday, uh, we're going to be here and we're going to be talking about something uh, large format. Oh, and by the way, that uh, that little spot meter I had holding up to my eye, that's the Riveni Labs spot meter. Launches very soon on Kickstarter and you're going to see a full overview video here on the channel. So thanks again for stopping by. If you have any questions about the large format photographic process, feel free to drop those down below in the comments or you can always hit me up with a long form question at largeformatquestions at gmail.com. And we'll catch you next week for more LFF.